Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's look at multiplication of fractions. And it turns out multiplying fractions is typically much easier than adding fractions. When we multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators together and we multiply the denominators together. Also notice that here we use a dot and there we use a little multiplication symbol. And it turns out that that's really the same thing. So when you see a dot or multiplication symbol, it's exactly the same thing. So what we need to do is multiply the numerators together. 2 times 5 is 10. Multiply the denominators together. 8 times 10 is 80. And then we can try to reduce the fraction if it's reducible. In this case it is. You notice that both the numerator and the denominator can be divided by 10. That's because they both end up in a 0. And divide the numerator by 10. That is equal to 1. Divide the denominator by 10. That's equal to 8. And ultimately, the result of 5 8 times 2 tenths is 1 8. What's more preferable is that you can reduce the fraction before you start multiplying. For example, 5 8 can now be reduced, but 2 tenths can be reduced. And also, when you're multiplying two fractions together, you can actually reduce the numerator of one fraction with the denominator of the other fraction. For example, we can reduce 5 and 10, and we can reduce 2 and 8. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1, so we cross out the 5 with a, put a 1 there. 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2, so 10 divided by 5 we write 2. In addition to that, we see a 2 here, we see a 2 there. We can divide this 2 by 2, we get a 1. We can divide this 2 by 2 and we get a 1. And all we have left now is 1 over 8 times 1 over 1. Now we multiply the numerators together, we get 1. Multiply the denominators together, we get 8. And the answer again, of course, is 1 8. If we did it correctly, we should get the same answer. So always try to reduce the fractions when you can. Looking over here, notice that the 3 and the 15 are both reducible because we can divide this by 3, we can divide this by 15. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. Also, we can reduce the 6 and the 8. Both are divisible by 2 because they're both even. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Now what we have left is we have 3 over 5 times 1 over 4. And now we can go ahead and multiply the numerators together. 1 times 3 is 3. And the denominators, 4 times 5 is 20. So the product of these two fractions is 3 divided by 20, or 3 20th. Same over here. Notice that the 7 and the 14 can both be reduced. The 7 divided by 7 is 1. The 14 divided by 7 is equal to 2. The 2 and the 25 cannot be reduced because that's an even number and that's an odd number. So what we have left is 2 divided by 1 multiplied times 2 divided by 25. Again, we multiply the numerators together, we get 4. We multiply the denominators together, we get 25. And that's how we multiply fractions. Again, you don't have to reduce if you don't want to, but it's probably preferred. And you look for common factors. So here you can see that you can cross reduce. We can reduce the 5 and the 10 even though it's the numerator of one fraction and the denominator of the other. And that's how it's done.